We all desire to have our doctors in our fingertips and whenever you want to know about your health, you want this information to be available. If you now open your cell phone, you'll see that there is going to be an app that can report your health situation at all times. We have put together the technology that is required to bring this into realization. Today, if you want to have your medical test, you have to pay a visit to a medical laboratory and see your physician, and it takes a while. The device in hand, for example, for a person with diabetes, the result is immediate. You run your test, you have your result, and it's in your phone. Now you're in control of your tests. The backbone of the device in hand today is lab on a chip or micro total analysis and we have been working towards improvement and enhancement of this system for a decade. The device we have in hand also has other components so in order to make this standalone device we had to solve quite a few issues from electronics to communication to connection to a phone and of course the lab on chip is what runs the chemistry and biochemistry assays to provide that health monitoring information that we want. This project has many components, but one of the main reasons that it got to where it is today was the advances that we have in the rapid prototyping tools, especially at UBC Okanagan, that with the access that we have to these facilities, it allowed us to make this design and manufacturing cycle faster. The concept of lab on a chip is that you can run complete chemistry and biochemistry assay at a small scale. So there are different technologies to support this idea. The technology we have introduced is based on motion of droplets and it provides more flexibility and reprogrammability for these devices. When I started working on lab on chip devices, I was really interested to see how the mechanical engineering can be mixed with electrical engineering in order to generate microfluidic chips that can move microliter droplets and it's really interesting to study how the microliter droplets move in the microscale. One of the main reasons that we have been able to integrate everything into this handheld device is the fact that we can program our chips. A smartphone can run those programs for us. In addition to the fact that this device is handheld, it is also quite flexible to carry out different type of experiments on the same device. One of the devices you may pick up from any drugstore is blood sugar measurements. So the difference between our device and those is that the main price tag on those devices relates to the chips that you have to purchase every time. Our device, however, is more flexible as I mentioned in that it can run different assays. So you buy one device and it can be used for different experiments. However, one of the other advantages is that those chips can be found based on pay per substrate that we can produce and you can have a hundred of them for the price of a dollar. We are hoping to have the capacity to produce our platform as the main part of this device. So obviously we like that everyone has one of them and you use your smartphone that you already have to run this device and have your health monitored. It's very exciting to be a part of a project that is ultimately going to save people's life. It's really hard to describe the satisfaction you get from developing technologies that will ultimately contribute to global health.